Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome yeah. back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 62. Today we're going to be diving into Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer. We'll be led by me today, and the end of prayer will be done by me. If you guys can, please bow your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you, we worship you. We thank you for the day that you have made. I rejoice in you, God. I pray today, this morning as I come, worship unto you, God, to be able to worship in your word, God, to be able to read your word, to be able to understand your word, and be able to apply your word to my life, God. I just pray that you continue to be with me, God. I pray that you have your way through this Bible study, God. I pray that your hands will bless and come to word that will be right today, God. We pray that revelation will be able to receive from your word, God. We pray that you continue to be with me, God. Have your way, God. In Jesus' name, amen. In Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21 says, Now all glory to God, who is able to through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. 21 says, Glory to him in the church and in Jesus Christ. Through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. And we'll start off with verse 20. All glory should go to God because he is able and because of the mighty work that he does within us. He's continuously there for us, continuously Protecting us, providing for us. So all glory goes to the Heavenly Father for what He has done. And the last part of verse 20 says, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think of. So the glory goes for not only for protecting us, for guiding us, keeping us safe, but for the work that He's done through us. Because a lot of things that the Heavenly Father has done through my life, I didn't think could happen. A lot of things I didn't acts to happen but i'm grateful for every single thing that happens so all glory goes to the heavenly father for what he has done and then verses 20 um glory to him in the church and in jesus christ through all generations forever and ever amen glory goes to the heavenly father and jesus for all they have done and all they're going to do for the upcoming generation and this generation now all glory go to them for the work that they have done and that's an essential thing that I keep in my prayer. Um, before I ask for something in prayer, I always make sure that I'm sending glory. I'm sending, sending thank you to the Heavenly Father before I ask for something because he's holy, he's worthy, he's mighty. And I'm just thankful for everything that he's done in my life. In Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21 says, Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. 21 says, Glory to him in the church and in Jesus Christ. Through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Now begin into our closing prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you, God. We pray as today's scripture said, all glory belongs to you and your son, God, for all that you have continued to do with us each and every single day. We're protecting us, we're providing us, God, for giving us stuff, God, for providing us with all the things that we ask for, God, to continuously be with us on a daily basis, God, and protect us all glory belongs to you, God, for the work that you do in us, God, the work that you're about to do in us too, God. All glory belongs to you, Heavenly Father. And we pray that we'll give all glory to you each and every single day for the work that you have done, God. And I pray that all glory goes to you now, God, as we were able to go through this Bible study to be able to discuss your word, God. All glory goes to you, God. With everything that I do, the glory is always to go back to you, God. And thank you for all you have done and all you're going to continue to do, God. I pray that your word has blessed our heart this morning, God, because all glory belongs to you, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming back on another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 62. If you have the video, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Please turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload a video, YouTube will send your notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.